Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. Today, I'm doing a vlog. Yep, I feel like chatting about miniatures in general. And about my channel and how it's coming along and just the hobby in general. And I want to talk about... Um, number one is the channel. Actually, I first want to start off with that. Again, a huge thank you for all my subscribers. Uh, and for everyone who supports the channel. Uh, of course, it would be great to see more Patreons. Uh, again, thank you, Will Flaherty, for being my one and only patron, uh, which is greatly appreciated anyways. Uh, $5 a month is just amazing anyways. It's it's just the support that makes it all better. Uh, this is not a cheap hobby. I'm trying to grow the channel, but it is hard to keep up with all the miniatures that are out there. I mean, there's so much. And uh, the number one thing is Warhammer. I never speak about warhammer that much on the channel because i am not a big warhammer fan uh so people are gonna probably just turn off this video right now but i'm not gonna diss it or anything it's an amazing game it's just not for me and not in my price range uh well, my point is today is just to show you also the comparison of some prices from some of the bigger companies that i like that i i i know about and uh also talk about board games and miniatures and all that stuff and just to get what you guys think about what should this channel become eventually. Should it be a very uh, up-to-date channel? I know I paint a lot of stuff that's older, which is out of date maybe. Some people don't care much about it. Uh, I also try and paint more recent stuff. I'm trying to find myself affiliates to get some demo products. Uh, you, you know, any kind of support I can for the channel and try and keep this up for you guys. Uh, it's not all so easy... Uh, keeping up with everything that's out there on YouTube. I mean, this is pretty crazy. Uh, but I do want to get into uh, just why I decided to play a certain tabletop game over there. And it's not just price. It's just the gameplay mechanics are a lot simpler for me to understand. Uh, I'm also not a very tactical player. Uh, I tend to lose a lot at this game. And I'm talking about Conquest by Parabellum Games. And by the way, I am now an affiliate uh, the link is in the description. You can save 10% on your purchase, whether you're in the UK, in the US, in Canada, in Jamaica, anywhere else you are in the world, in China, Japan, wherever you are, you can save 10% with this code. All of that link in the description. The link will be popping up. You can't click on or anything like that. And then put East Mini 10 as your promo code. And you'll be able to get 10% uh, off. And it's also going to help support the channel. So uh, uh, I'm an affiliate now with Parabellum Games. And that doesn't mean that I'm biased towards them. Uh, I just love their miniatures. They've come a long way within, what, a couple years now that they've been around. Uh, their first plastic stuff was a little bit flimsier. But then it became so much better. Uh, you saw in my recent video with the Karyatids, Canifors. That was just amazing. Their miniature, the quality of their miniatures have come up so much. I just want to talk now between also about Games Workshop as well. Um, I don't paint Warhammer channel. I've painted some old Dark Vengeance stuff. Uh, and I, I mean, it was all, and then I see all the Space Marines are pretty much almost all the same. They're starting to change them a bit now. Thank God. They're getting different looks to them, uh, different textures. And again, the, the Games Workshop has also evolved over the many, 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 many years it's been around. I mean, this is, this was pretty much the starter miniature tabletop game. I may be wrong. Don't, don't quote me on that and don't judge me on that. But I mean... I'm not uh, big on tabletop wargaming. I don't know much about it, but I do know some stuff. And I try to anyways. But let's just talk about pricing here and the differences on different things. And I don't like comparing, but just for my personal reason why I get into a certain miniatures gaming, especially board games. All right, so I'm just going to show you guys here quickly. So here's Parabellum's websites. This is their store. And uh, this is all in Canadian prices, by the way. So it might be less or more for you guys, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, and it also shows like, well, actually, these are U.S. prices. I found it. That's right. I'm in Canada, but this is showing the U.S. prices. Sorry about that. Uh, but it's pretty much the same price uh, in Europe, I think. It's the same. They, like it says, $1.99 for both euros and dollars. So interesting that they kept the same pricing. Anyways, so if you want to really get into it, $200, you get a huge, bountiful two-player starter kit right here. Okay, it's huge. Um, and you get tons of miniatures. Like, you get 90 plastic models. Then if you head on over to um, Games Workshop, and you look at 
Slaves to Darkness army set. All right. There's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 little miniatures, a big miniature, some, well, medium sized miniatures, a big one. $240. Uh, okay. Sure. And as you scroll down, I mean, 210 for a big miniature. I mean, 180, 170 for a Vanguard. You get a few little guys. Okay, and then just to compare here. So these guys, to me, are like cavalry, right? There's three of them. Sure. Switch over to Parabellum for a cavalry. $60. All plastic. Hard plastic. Very hard plastic stuff. Look at their one. Okay, these ones are, you know, they're big, giant miniatures. $140. Alright, you know, for a giant miniature, you could probably get a D and D figure for twenty dollars and use it as a proxy for this, which I'm actually tempted to do, by the way, is to just buy a proxy and use it as an ice yacht nar. I'm just gonna have to make the command card. Um but you know it's just like you took sixty dollars and you see a hundred and thirty dollars. Now I know in in tabletop wargaming the point is that you these these miniatures are not just miniatures right they're part of your army and they bring in special abilities and all that so they're worth more on the table but when you're a hobbyist that was just wanting to paint miniatures $130 for 3 miniatures I can't justify that so if I want to keep up with everybody that's out there on YouTube who's painting and building all these things, I will never be able to. And a lot of small YouTubers won't be able to either. And not without your help as well. I mean, uh, when I become uh, a partner with YouTube, great, you guys will be able to join, become members. I'll do a little bit more live streams where you can chat with me and do super chats. It'll be great. I hope to, to that this will help bring in a little bit of income to help fund the channel because I really love this hobby. It has saved me from some really hard times in the past few years uh suffering from a lot of different uh, medical conditions but anyways i won't get into that i don't want to give no sob stories here and i'm not looking for pity either this is what i love doing i love painting my miniatures and again i don't make them parade ready i know i don't go into tons of details with my miniatures uh but i'm trying to make them out there for people who are not uh, or are afraid actually of starting to paint and or looking to get into the painting hobby i was always pretty much i'd watch all these other guys like squidmar and miniac and uh um everybody else that did do these amazing painting jobs i mean these guys are probably artists went to school in artistry i never i never i didn't do that i'm not an artist i took up a mini took up a brush and started painting it based on the colors i saw on uh on their artwork in a game especially board games and I look at some of these pictures, like, these are amazing. Like, if I can just get a little bit closer, like, if I could paint like this, holy jeez, yeah, I would love it. But, I mean, I can't spend 20 to 30 hours on one miniature. Uh, I mean, there's family life and other life situations that come in. Uh, I don't make a living on my YouTube channel, but it would be nice to have the opportunity to build and buy some of these. Like, I wouldn't mind picking up this, like, Slaves to Darkness build it and paint it, maybe even then sell it uh, to gain a little bit of money to get back from it, and then the rest would go to charity. I love donating to charities. Um, a lot of times when I make money on stuff, I usually do donate. Um, anyway, so just, you know, talking about this stuff. Now, here, I just want to show you guys one thing here. So, let's talk about board games, right? Board games, I mean, you can pay between $100 and $200 for some board games as well. They're not cheap. Uh... And, like, you're talking about a board game like Hate, which has amazing miniatures to paint. And when it came out in Canada, it was about $200. And I found it in the States for, like, 120 at one point during a big sale. I think it was last year or the year before on uh, miniaturemarket.com. And it ended up costing me, I think, 170 with everything, uh, with the, the duties and the taxes and the shipping and all that, to Canada. So it ended up being cheaper. And I couldn't find anywhere here in Canada for less than 200 even 240 but they may, you know, it is expensive for board games. But, you know, recently, I acquired Marvel Zombies, all right? And this is the Kickstarter version. My store did the, um, not the Wave 1 shipping, like not single shipping, they did the multiple shipping. So they were able to get Marvel Zombies, the core box. So I picked it up from them. It wasn't cheap. It was $170 plus taxes, Canadian. And but it's just that it has miniatures in it that I and I love zombie side games. I mean, I own them all pretty much, except I used to have the original ones. And 
I I compare it to that because in there you get what is it, eighty seven miniatures or something like that. So if you compare it to the ninety from Parabellum, okay, yes, you have to build them all, and you know, like it takes a long time to glue them all and get them all prepped and all that. These ones are all done; you just paint them in the Marvel Zombie stuff. But it's just I don't know. There's like a difference, and and this is a whole game as well. You're starting off with two hundred dollars in a war gaming table game, and um, you have to build your army. This is not enough to play a full game against competitive people out there. I've played. I have one Dwegom army of two thousand points. I can switch it and modify it. I have not won a single game yet. I don't have the tactics to do it. I see other people what they put into their army and how they play is so different than me. I don't think about it as. I'd like to have a diff I want to have the different regiments. I don't want to have six of the same regiments on the table. Like I find it's just like, okay, so you spent let's say thirty, forty dollars a box, you've got six of them, you spent $180 just on one type of figurine, <laughs> just because it makes it that it's harder to attack or to defend against or whatever, you know? Uh but me, I liked having just the, the three little stands uh of each one. So like, you know, the Fire Forge, the Thanes, the every anyways, you guys might not know too much about Power but take a look at their website, it's pretty awesome. Uh so that's what I like to do and so I also here I gotta show you this here. Yes, I am a year behind. But I did buy a Warhammer kit. Oh my god, I bought one. Okay. Dominion. Age of Sigmar. This thing was more than half off after Christmas this year. It still sells for over two hundred and forty dollars here at some spots. Comes with uh, is it sixty miniatures? Yeah, sixty miniatures. All right, regular about two hundred twenty, two hundred forty dollars. I got it for less than a hundred, way less. Okay, well not way less, but less than a hundred dollars. To me, this was a good deal. Will I ever play it? I don't know because I don't know the rules of it. Will I ever paint it? I'd love to. I'd love to see if people want to see this again. I mean, other people have already painted the Templars. Or no, sorry, the, what are they called? Stormcast Eternals and the Cruel Boys. I love orcs, by the way. Love orcs and dwarves. Those are kind of my factions. Too bad Warhammer doesn't have, I don't know. If the, does Warhammer have dwarves? Please comment down below because I've never seen any. If they did, I might get into Warhammer that way. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. That's what took me towards Parabellum is the, the Dwegums. They're little dwarves. They're fun. They're great. Awesome little guys to paint. But, so I picked this up. I haven't even opened it. It's still in the shrink wrap. Uh, because, do I want to get into painting Warhammer just for the channel? But again, it's old. You guys tell me, oh, your stuff is older. And so I don't get the views with it because other people have seen it 20 million times already on YouTube. But I thought maybe if I paint it my way and, but I'm trying to see, you know, so if there's any bigger YouTubers out there watching me right now, uh, which I doubt it, but anyways, you never know. I might be popular with you guys too, or I might pop up on your feed. Uh, let me know what I can do to revive older sets or older miniatures. Or is there something I can do? Should I just paint my own theme to it? and see how that goes uh anyways so i don't know if this was helpful or not for you guys this was just a vlog of me ranting on about miniatures and prices and different things like that um so anyways i want to thank you guys for watching hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and uh, don't forget to take a look at my other painting videos on here my uh, you know my other stuff my unboxing videos and uh, let me know in the comments, what do you see going forward on this channel? I mean, a lot of you have said, oh yeah, paint this, paint that. But I mean, again, it's a budget thing. Uh, if you guys want to see me paint specific stuff or get into more stuff, hit that little tip button there, the little link in the description. Become a Patreon. Um, you know, help support the channel. Uh, join this channel whenever it becomes a partner on YouTube. And anyways, I want to thank you guys again for all the support lately. Uh, this channel has grown quite a bit. I want to thank you guys so much for it. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one.